Thanks for joining us. I am delighted to be joined by Danielle Royston. She is the CEO and founder of Telco DR and acting CEO of Totogi. Danielle, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, Danielle, you are the girl who took over the Ericsson booth last year at MWC and turned it into Cloud City. But at the time, maybe there was not so much appetite within the industry for all things to do with the cloud. Has it changed? I think it's changed a lot. And I don't know if I'm the one who had something to do with it, but I certainly like to think I'm the one who had something to do with it. Um, just walking around at MWC 22, you're seeing so much more language and actual advertisements about the cloud in the banners, in the messages, in the announcements um, about cloud. And so one thing that I'm doing is I'm running around and recruiting people to be part of the, the Cloud City Army. And so I brought you a little pin that you can use. And so anyone that's, that's running around MWC and, and finds me, uh, I have a little gift. But yeah, I think. I think we brought a whole new message to MWC. Prior to, to Cloud City, there had never even been a track around cloud. This year, there's a track. Um, the CEO of AWS is speaking in a keynote tomorrow. Never has a hyperscaler CEO ever spoken at MWC. Um, and so yeah, I think, I think we're changing the industry. I think I'm changing the industry. It's, it's amazing. So what do you say you had your moment last year? I think I took over MWC, some people call it DRC, um, <laughs> seriously, because, I mean, we were the show. Um, we had this amazing, beautiful booth. Um, we hosted Bon Jovi, a Bon Jovi concert in the booth, live, it was amazing. And uh, so yeah, I definitely, it was the launch of Totogi and we took it over and I think, I think we got something like 800 pieces of media mentions from that event. So yeah, it was, it was huge. And in terms of what's happened since, you've launched your new company, Totogi. So yeah. how is it going? Totogi's going great. I mean, it's like any startup. It has its ups and downs and challenges. Um, I invested $100 million in it uh, last year to kind of, it wasn't so much that they needed $100 million to get going, but rather to send a message to the industry that we're serious and we are focused on the long term. And so we're really trying to build the right software for the telecom industry. And we think a big part of that is using the public cloud. And I think there's a lot of software companies that are like, oh, we'll do whatever the telco wants, we'll meet you where you are, we'll do private cloud, not to Togi. We're 100% public cloud, and so that takes a long-term focus, and uh, I think, again, the customers we talk to are really, really excited, and uh, we're starting to get uh, momentum and some wins, and I'm really excited about that. Cloud City has gone virtual this year. Yes. Why did you make that choice? Well, you know, unlike a lot of the people that are here at this show, we just had an MWC less than a year ago, right? It was in July, right at the end of, of June and early July. And so we filled our sales funnel. That's the primary reason why you come to MWC. It's a deal show to fill your sales funnel and, and start that whole process going. We did that, so we're working through that. Most of the people here, it's been three years since they've been at MWC. Me. It's been like seven months. So I'm good and we decided to go virtual and we realized that we could have a lot more meetings that way, especially where you know, the pandemic is in a kind of interesting state. We just kind of went through the Omicron phase, different parts of the world are going at different speeds. And so we sort of made a bet that we would be able to have more meetings um, virtually and that has been the case. So we're really excited about that move. Danielle, I watched your keynote from last year and it had interesting references to creatures like dragons and dinosaurs. So what can we expect from your speech this year? Any more, any more references? Yeah, well, you know, with me, there's always going to be some sort of surprise and a, an amazing element. I think last year, my message was, you know, the, the title of the talk was The Paradox of the Public Cloud. And I, my message was the public cloud is coming. There's good parts and bad parts, and you need to make a call to decide, you know, what are you going to do? And my whole idea was you need to ride the dragon, right? Dragons are dangerous, but if you are like Daenerys from Game of Thrones, and you can become, you know, an advantage. And so she certainly, I love to be Daenerys sometimes with my dragons. So for this talk, my whole message is the cloud is now. It is here, right? And you've got to get going. And so I think telcos need to start modernizing their applications. They need to start cleansing their data. And they need to start to build cloud muscle around hiring the talent that they need. And I think once they do that, they can start to focus on their customers and get to those higher ARPUs and create a competitive advantage. And so that's what my talk is all about. There's a couple of surprises. Um, and so I hope, I hope people come and attend. It'll be really great. 
finally, what's in store for Cloud City 2023? Yeah, so I would love to come back to MWC and do another Cloud City. Um, I think there's a lot of momentum. Um, you know, I'm meeting with people that come up to me and say I want to be part of it. And so anyone out there that wants to be part of Cloud City 23, you know, follow me on Twitter, connect to me on LinkedIn. Um, but yeah, I think this is this is not just a moment last year where I, I pulled off a crazy sort of marketing move. I don't think it was just um, you know it's random technology. I think this is this is the future of telco. Um, I think it's not going away. I think more and more people are adopting it. It's getting momentum. And so Cloud City 23, I hope, is a big thing next year. So let's do it. Fantastic. Danielle, thank you very much. Real pleasure talking to you. It's so great talking to you. Thanks so much.